Hello viewers, Microsoft has once again confirmed a new problem on its own issue health dashboard. This issue started after the August patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11.24 H2. Update KB506387.8 That update has caused several problems which I have already mentioned on this channel. The same issues also apply to Windows 11, 23, H2, Windows 10 and many versions of Windows Server that receive the August updates. Basically the August 2025 security update and later on introduced a security change that affect how user account control UAC prompt work during Windows installer MSL repair task. With these update Windows now require administrator credential when doing MSL repair or related task. This was done to fix a security labeled CVE-2055-0173. Because of this UAC prompt for admin rights may now appear for standard user in certain cases. Here are some examples Microsoft listed. Running MSL repair command, opening Autodesk apps like AutoCAD, Civil 3D or Inventor Cam. Installing an MSL file when a user sign into an app for the first time. Installing apps that set up per user. Running Windows installer during active setup. Deploying packages through configuration manager that relay on user specific setting. Enabling secure desktop. Microsoft also explained that if a standard user runs an app that start an MSL repair without showing the UAC prompt. It will fail with any error for example installing and running Office Professional Plus 2010 as a standard user will fail with error 1730 during setup. The good news is that Microsoft has shared a simple workaround if you paste this issue run the app as administrator. From the start menu or search right click the app and select you will need to do this manually until Microsoft provide a permanent fix. Microsoft says it is working on a solution that will let IT admins allow certain apps to perform MSL repair without triggering UAC prompts. This fix will come in a future Windows update and more detail will be shared later. So that's the latest another known issues affecting many version of Windows. From my point of view this problem will probably affect enterprise environments more than home user. But I will keep you updated when new info comes out. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.